Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super cool Sugar Hearts bracelet in the Sugar Hearts variation. Um, so this is the original Sugar Hearts bracelet and this is the variation. I'll show you how to make both today in this one tutorial. Um, first I'll be showing you how to make the original and then after that I will go on to the variation. Um, so if it would probably be best if you watched the original because that's where I'm going to be explaining most of the steps. Um, and then afterwards you can make the variation as well. I'll be referencing a lot of the steps in this bracelet that I did um, previously if you were only going to watch this part. But anyway, this was designed by you.megmeg on Instagram. And this is her profile here. So you can just scroll through her account and um, it's not loading. But you can, uh, I guess, look through all her photos and give her a follow for me. So, and I will make sure to have her name in the description box below. So now what you're going to go ahead and do is get your hook. I'm going to use the double and a crochet hook. And first I'm going to, like I said before, be making this bracelet to start. So you're going to take three, colored, three colors of bands. I'm going to be using lime green jelly, neon green, and electric glow blue. And first thing you're going to do is take one each of these colors and cap it on your hook. So you're going to just make a figure eight with the lime green. Make a figure eight with the neon green. Make a figure eight with the blue. Once you have this, go ahead and choose a color. Doesn't matter what. In this bracelet, I used white at the ends. So I'm going to use this, just a slime green jelly band. I'm going to pull that through all six of these loops and reattach. And right here, you're going to go ahead and take a clip. I'm going to use my C clip here. And you're going to go ahead and clip these two loops and take it off of your hook. So you should have this. Next, what you're going to go ahead and do is turn this around. And you're going to stick your hook back through all six of those cap band loops. So make sure that you do grab them all back onto your hook. And I gotta get this last blue one. Okay. And what you're going to do is pretty much just arrange these cap bands so that they are um, all situated kind of separate from each other. So these blue bands are on one side, the lime green are on the other side, and then the neon green in the middle. So what you're going to do <clears throat> in this bracelet is you're going to take one of these blue loops, it doesn't matter which one, and you're going to cross it into the middle of these two neon green bands. Again, doesn't matter which blue loop, just cross it over top of the green. And now what you're going to do is take a blue band, you're going to pull that through the first three loops. And what I like to do for this specific part here is kind of um, just leave this band and hold on to these two cap bands so that you can pull this through and lift this band again. It just makes it easier to kind of pull them through because the bands are also tight together. Now you're going to take a green through the first two loops this time. And I'm going to again take this one blue loop and just hold on to it while I pull through this other green one. And I'm going to reattach that. And then I'm going to take another blue loop just through that first one. Now the um, next thing we're going to do is be crossing some bands. So what I like to remember is the way that you cross the cap band or the beginning band is the way you're going to cross these center bands. So pretty much I crossed the blue band here over into the middle. So I'm going to take these neon green bands and also pull them over into the middle. So you're going to take <clears throat> one or two loops at a time, doesn't matter which. It's just easier for me to do one loop. You're going to pull it over these two blue loops. Take the other one. Pull it over the other two blue loops. Just kind of hold it there so you can um, take another blue band and pull that through the first four loops, which if you're holding your bands should be the first four blue. And then at this point, you're going to go ahead and turn that around to the other end of your hook. And this time we're going to do the opposite. So where before I took this um, this lime green jelly loop into the middle, you're going to take this middle neon green and move it to the outside. So pretty much crossing it over top of that neon green. 
or the lime green, sorry. Then you're going to take one neon green and two lime green, just like we did on the other side. Pull that through the first three. We're going to go ahead and lift those outer two. If you want, you can do this. It's just a little bit more difficult because the bands are um, kind of crammed together. Now take your neon green and then lift the outer one. And you can also find another way to do this if it's easier for you. I'm just going to do that this way. And we're going to again do what we did with the cap band. And we're going to take this green band here, this middle band, and we're going to pull it to the outside over top of the neon green. So where before we pulled the neon green into the middle, over top of the blue, we're going to pull the neon green into the middle underneath of the lime green. And that'll kind of give this staggered effect here. So once you do that, you're going to take another lime green jelly band through the first four loops, which if you're holding your band should be those first lime green bands. Then once you have this, you're going to take a neon green loop or a neon green band, pull it through the first six loops, and you're going to lift those outer two. Now we're back to six loops on the hook, and this is a lot like what we have at the start. So just remember which way you pulled the band. So also an easier way to remember is this neon, or this lime green jelly band is going to the outside. So this neon green band is going to go crossing over to the outside. So I'm going to work on the same side here just so I don't have to flip my bands around yet. And I'm going to do the same thing that we did just the last step. Just like the last step. So taking a lime green jelly and pulling it through the first three and lifting the outer two. You can rearrange those other two however you like. And you're going to take a neon green through the first two, lift the outer one, and then a lime green jelly through the first one. And now just like we did with the other lime green jellies, you're going to take this, pull it over those two neon green loops to the outside. Make sure you are taking both of those loops over to the outside. Now take a lime green jelly loop through the first four and reattach. Now we're going to go ahead and slide that down and we're going to turn this around. And in this bracelet we crossed these or in the, I'm sorry, on this side, we took the neon green band and crossed them into the middle, so we're going to take this blue band and cross it over into the middle. And then we're going to take one uh, neon green and two blue. Pull that through the first three, lift the outer two. Pull this through the first two, lift the outer one and then pull this through the first one. You're going to take this neon green loop and move it into the center. And take the other end of that into the center. It's a little bit difficult if you don't have fingernails, which I don't really have long nails, so it's a bit difficult for me, but um, I'm sure it'll be easier for a lot of you. You're going to take a blue band through the first four. Just make sure to hold on to these neon green loops so you don't have to... Oops. This hook is not necessarily the best um, hook for grabbing bands, so let's try that again. Across these over into the middle. It's also really hard to do on camera, so hopefully you can still see it. I'm going to pull this through the first four and reattach. Then the last band that we have is a neon green that will go through the first six, pick up the outer two. So 
So this is what your bracelet should begin to look like. You're going to continue doing this all the way down until you reach the end of your bracelet or until it's long enough to fit around your wrist. Um, and then to finish it off, you're going to stop at these six loops, just like we have here. Take one band, whichever color you like. I'm going to take this lime green one, pull it through all six loops, and reattach. And then you can attach it to your C-clip. Um, so that is all I'm going to show for this portion. I'm now going to be showing you how to make the variation here. I also made one in limited edition bands, which looks really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off of my hook. And I'll show you how to make these. These. So it's fairly similar to the original. Um, it's just one crossing step different. So I'm going to use some different colors for this one, just so you can see. Um, I like to choose a background color, which in both of these I used a black. So I'm going to use a mother of pearl today. And you're pretty much going to start off the same way that we did in the other bracelet. You're going to take three of these bands and cap them on your hook. So one two, and three, and then take, again, one more band through all six of those cap band loops, but be aware that if you do all of them the same color, it's going to be really difficult to start off your bracelet. It's going to be difficult, especially for me, um, so try and bear with me here. You're going to attach a C-clip to both of those loops, just so you don't lose them, and you're going to put all six loops back onto your hook. Now comes the difficult part of separating the cap bands. So I think I have them mostly separated here, just like so. And what you're going to do is in the original, we crossed one band one way and one band the other way. In this bracelet, we're going to cross both bands the same way. So on this side, you're going to take the second loop here you're going to cross it into the middle, or into, in between those two center loops, just like that. And then what you're going to want to do is grab one of your mother, or two of your mother of pearl loops and one of your color loops here. So I'm going to take my mother of pearl band through the first three loops, lift the outside two, make sure you rearrange these outer two in whichever way you can or whichever way is easiest for you. It's a bit difficult for me to see. There's a huge glare on them right now. Okay. Then you're going to take your colored band here. I'm using a Caribbean green band through the first two. You're going to lift the outside one and rearrange that. And then one more pearl band the first one. So now, once you have this, you're going to take these two Caribbean green bands and kind of split this apart. I'm going to take these two Caribbean green bands, pull it into the middle. Make sure to hold that so that it's kind of off to the side. Then you're going to take a mother of pearl band through the first four loops and reattach. So this is similar to what we did in the original. We're now going to switch this down to the other side here and do the same thing. So these two loops are one cap band and this loop is another cap band. Just like we did on the other side, we're going to take the second loop. It really doesn't matter the first or the second loop. You're going to cross it over this third one into the middle. And then you're going to take two mother of pearl bands and one of your colored bands. For this section, I'm using Caribbean green. Going to pull this band through the first three and lift the outer two. And then take your Caribbean green band through the first two, lift the outer oops, one. And then one more band through the first one. Now you're going to take these two Caribbean green bands and kind of pull them into the middle. You can pull them one at a time or two at a time, whichever is easiest for you. Pull them into the middle and separate them from the mother of pearl bands. Then take a mother of pearl band through the first four loops and attach the other end. Now at this point, you would pull through 
another colored band, but because I'm going to be alternating colors, kind of like I did in this bracelet, I'm going to take my second color, which I'm using the turquoise glitter bands, and oops, I'm going to pull that through the first six, and then lift the outer two, and rearrange those outer two, and you should have six total loops here. So we're going to do the same thing that we did before. We're going to take this mother of pearl band, and you're going to move that into the center. Now you're going to take two mother of pearl bands and one of your next color, which again is my turquoise glitter. I'm going to pull that through the first three loops, lift the outer two, and rearrange both of those. Taking your turquoise through the first two, lift the outer one, and rearrange, and then taking this last one through the first band. Now you're going to take these center two colored bands. I'm going to go ahead and move them into the center. It's a little bit difficult when your mother pro bands kind of get crossed or if they're sticky bands. Like if you're using 300 pack bands, it's going to be quite difficult to do. Again, it sucks not having fingernails because I really can't grab the bands and hold them. Now you're going to take Mother of Pearl band through the first four loops and reattach. Now slide this down to the other end. You can adjust your bands if you need to. I'm going to take this Mother of Pearl band, cross it over into the middle, then take two Mother of Pearl and one blue. Take this band through the first three, lift the outer two, rearrange, pull this band through the first two, or I guess this first one is through the first three, lift the outer two, and this one is through the first two, lift the outer one, and then this one is just through the first one. Now take both of these turquoise loops into the middle, It's very difficult for me to do, so just bear with me here. Take a mother of pearl loop through the first four. Okay. And then you're going to take your next color. So I would take my Caribbean green band because I'm only alternating these two colors. I'm going to pull that through the first six and lift the outer two. So this is what your bracelet should begin to look like. As you continue, it should look something like this. And that's going to do it. So once you're done that, you can take one last band, pull it through all six of these loops, and attach the other end to your C-clip. Um, so that is going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. I will have you Meg Meg's name in the description box below. Make sure to check her out on Instagram. Give her a follow for me. Um, but that is all I'm going to have for this video. So I hope to see you in the next video.